According to the ZANU-PF regime, Senjizo Chibangu, a rebel CCC who poses as the party's secretary general, has the authority to remove the elected representatives of the opposition. 15 MPS, 9 senators, and 17 council members of the party were all recalled by Sibangu last week. The elected officials were expelled from the party after ceasing to be party members. According to a letter from the self-declared CCC Interim Secretary General to Speaker of the National Assembly Jacob Mudenda, Aman Mawaira, the Acting Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Trade, claimed in a statement on Friday that the state was not involved in the recalls. He stated, In light of recent recalls of lawmakers from a particular political party, the government pays attention to statements made by some political organizations in accordance with our laws. The allegations and plain lies intended to involve the government and the dominant ZANU-PF party in the recall procedures are without foundation. For the sake of clarity and the benefit of those unfamiliar with Zimbabwean law, it should be noted that, according to Section 129 1K of the Zimbabwean Constitution, it is the political party to which the affected member belongs, and not the government. That may recall a member of parliament by sending a written notice to the Speaker of the National Assembly or the President of the Senate. In light of this, it is wrong and outright dishonest for any political formation that has been negatively impacted by recalls to place the blame on the other. Simply said, no other party has such a mandate or standing over the other in recall issues. After such a communication has been made available to them, either official is able to initiate modify or block it. Once more, it is outright untrue to hold the two presiding officials accountable for any recalls or to imply that they have the authority to revoke any such communications. A reversal can only be brought about by the communications creators. Political analysts, on the other hand, have questioned how Chibangu, who was unknown until early this month could claim to hold a position that does not exist in CCC and use that non-existent position to recall elected officials in opposition to the position that Nelson Chamisa, the party's leader, has made clear.